Max Verstappen had a lot to say about his race in Mexico, which was ruined by two straight 10-second penalties for his antics against Norris in turns four and eight. The stewarding, which was planned by John Herbert, who is known to have a grudge against Verstappen for his profanity, seemed too severe to his team. And Norris has also added weight to the whole matter. What does Verstappen think of the 22nd penalty he was given in light of all of this? More significantly, will there be any changes in the near future to stop these kinds of situations from occurring repeatedly? Verstappen is undoubtedly one of the most dedicated racers in the sport, which is why competing against him is an art form that very few drivers have been able to master. Similar to Hamilton and Leclerc. However, Norris has now watched his adversary receive a 22nd penalty for defending actions that were judged to be borderline unsafe driving, after acknowledging that he will alter his own technique when facing Verstappen. Even Verstappen acknowledged that Norris would have won the race if he hadn't done that and handed away the position. When talking about his moves and explaining them to a greater extent, Verstappen said, You know, honestly, 20 seconds is a lot, but I'm not going to cry about it. I'm also not going to share my opinion. The biggest problem that I have is that today was a bad day in terms of race pace. That was quite clear again on the mediums and on the hard tyres. I just felt that the turn four was a bit more of a question mark. Turn seven, it is what it is, and honestly, those two things are also not my problem. The problem is that we are too slow and that's why I'm being put in those kinds of positions. That was my problem. On the other hand, Horner did not feel exactly the same as Verstappen. And after the race, the Brit went on to protest the first penalty of his driver at turn four because Norris had entered it with a greater speed than usual. 15 kilometres per hour, which, according to him, it meant that the Brit was never going to make the corner regardless of Verstappen's actions. But not only did this appeal be denied, Verstappen was granted two points on his super licence and now has a total of six, which goes to show that the FIA is determined to make rules a bit stricter when it comes to racing. The antics of Verstappen have been within the rules in Austin. However, the stewards are different compared to that race, and if they weren't, it was obvious that the driving of the three-time world champion was reckless, especially if we're to look at Turn 7's actions. It looked like he was about to end Norris' race, which resulted in Leclerc gaining a position on those two in the same manner as he did in Austin. Unfortunately for the Monegasque, he was unable to capitalise on it and shrink down the lead to Verstappen additionally. Christian Horner has gone on to slam the FIA for the penalties that were given to Verstappen. Because for more or less the same move that Russell caused in Austin against Bottas, the Dutchman was given a 10-second penalty, while the Brit was awarded a 5-second penalty. However, the rulebook in the FIA suggests it precisely. If the driver is forced to run off the area and lose time in the battle, and the penalty is 10 seconds, as you can see it clearly, from the FIA document that mandates the rules of racing in the sport. Still, Horner is adamant that two separate 10-second penalties were done because the FIA wanted to make an example of Verstappen, who still drove a recovery race and managed to lose 10 points to Norris only. Elaborating further on this matter, the team principal of Red Bull said, First of all, I think it was very harsh to give two 10-second penalties. I think there's something more fundamental. I mean, obviously there's been a reaction to last weekend. I think it's very important for the driver's stewards and the drivers to sit down. Because, looking at the GPS, this is on the rundown to turn four. On the lap that he has the incident with Max, he is 15 kilometres an hour faster and later on the brakes than his fastest lap of the Grand Prix. He wouldn't have made the corner, he would have run off the track, and you could see that from his onboard steering. Many have gone on to argue that Verstappen wouldn't have made the corner either in Turn 12 in Austin because he caught himself upon the front of the apex, as we've seen through telemetry, that he braked extremely later in order to make sure that he's in front of Norris there. However, in Mexico, the Brit managed to be the car ahead from the outside, which gave him the right to defend the corner, but Verstappen didn't accept that quite easily and pushed him off the track. Unlike Austin, there's grass outside these turns that takes away your grip and the temperature from your tyres so it does take a bit of time to bring them back up to normal working order. That's if you manage to get back on the track successfully and not damage the floor from the bouncing in this area. That is why there's a general belief that the penalties Verstappen received are not only deserved, 
but will show that the FIA has taken a stronger stance on these actions. And Wolf is adamant that they will definitely change the way F1 drivers are racing each other, regardless of what's at stake. Be that as it may, even Helmut Marko felt like the FIA has been way too harsh with the fancy Dumam. Dai had to have had the penalties, especially for Turn 4, as the Austrian team is kind of willing to discuss this to a greater extent, when it's clear as the sky that Verstappen committed moves that he shouldn't have done. Hard racing is one thing, but it's now obvious that he crossed the line, as he did many times throughout his defensive manoeuvres against Hamilton back in 2021. But under the new regulations, and with the championship on the line, the FIA is now iron in the fist on how the Dutchman is going to race his rivals, especially when he's a bit angered after losing the position to Sainz due to a low battery charge at the main straight. When talking to Sky Sports Germany, Macker went on to say, The penalties were very, very harsh. I think that was an overreaction to what happened in Austin. You are five seconds and you have ten seconds. But now we had twice ten seconds and I think that's very harsh. There's no question that Austin has played a huge role in why the penalty was given the way it was. Because his hard racing is probably going to continue for the remainder of the season, now that the cars have been kind of finding a way to race each other very hard, even though the general perspective is that McLaren has been the car to beat ever since Miami. With Ferrari taking a massive step since Austin and gaining two consecutive wins. But according to Lando Norris, the penalty of Verstappen was quite expected, and there's no beating around the bush. He got exactly what he deserved, and before he plunges into such manoeuvres, he should understand that once they don't work, a penalty is on its way. Giving his thoughts on this entire situation, the Brit said, I go into every race expecting a tough battle with Max. It's clear it doesn't matter if he wins or finishes second. His only job is to beat me in the race. He'll sacrifice himself to do that, like he did today. I want to have those tough battles, like I've seen him have plenty of times, but fair ones. It's always going to be tough with Max. He's never going to make anyone's life easy, especially mine at this point of the year. But I think today was not fair, clean racing. Therefore, I think he got what he had coming to him. Today, I felt like I had to avoid collisions, and that's not what you feel like you want to do in a race. He's in a very powerful position in the championship. He's a long way ahead, and he has nothing to lose. People can say it's the other way around, like he's got everything to lose and it's all for me, but it's not the case. Again, Norris was unable to capitalise on a poor race from Verstappen, and while many thought that he would be in the mix to win the race once the car started to get alive. In the second stint on the hard tyre, we've seen that the step Ferrari has taken has probably put them in the same league as the Woking Bay squad. Piastri's dip in the form has put McLaren in a difficult situation to defend the number one spot in the Constructors' Championship against Ferrari. But one thing is for certain, if this form of the drivers continues and Verstappen wins the championship, he'll be the first driver ever since 1983 to win a championship in the third fastest car on the grid. That's now up to the rest of the grid to prove that they can race Verstappen fairly, and if we're to look at how things currently stand, we couldn't help but wonder what 2025 is going to look like. Ferrari and McLaren have made extremely good steps, and Verstappen will be under tremendous pressure that could see him look for options outside of Red Bull, with Aston Martin being the most viable one. With all of this in mind, do you think that the FIA's penalty towards Max has been justified? And more importantly, do you think it will change the way the drivers are going to race headed into the remainder of the season? Let us know in the comments below and once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.